And while the presidential race has stolen the spotlight, some are concerned about the lack of attention on local candidates and issues. Andrea Nakano joins us from Oakland, where voters could potentially make changes to the city's police commission. Oakland voters approved Measure LL in 2016 to create the Civilian Police Commission, but in order to independently investigate allegations of police misconduct, it needed a little help, and that's why Measure S1 is on the ballot. We have to create trust. We have to reform police. We have to demonstrate to the public that we have a holistic vision of public safety. Those were some of the goals the police commission hoped to accomplish as it was created to oversee the Oakland Police Department and its policies. But over the last four years, there was some confusion on how to do its job. Measure S-1 would now make the police commission an independent body of the city administration, allow the commission to hire its own attorneys, and create an independent office of inspector general to review cases of police misconduct. Some opponents say the measure still wouldn't fix all the issues, but the Oakland Police Officers Association is even recommending a yes vote on S-1. Our view is this is what the police commission wants. This will halt the bickering. And let's focus together on the crime that we're facing here in Oakland. OPOA President Barry Donilon says there are now more than 80 murders in Oakland this year, the most in the last three years. We are at staggering numbers of crimes per officer here. And it, it does demonstrate the challenge. We have over 2,000 calls for service a day. The mayor would also like to see more of a community based approach to preventing crime. <laughs> for residents to take back their streets from the recent surge in violence. They want to see us invest more in the conditions of safety, in adding non-police responses to the calls for help that really don't require a badge and a gun. In order to pass, Measure S-1 simply needs a majority vote on November 3rd. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.